In this video I'll explain to you the pitfalls of early retirement so that you can avoid some of the pain that I went through. Retirement is not a bed of roses. I've certainly found that to be the case. I retired at 44 and it was uh, quite a tough time really. I made it harder on myself because I didn't plan. My retirement was uh, a knee-jerk reaction to the death of my father one year earlier when I was 43. I have to admit that I'd always planned to retire reasonably early, but I didn't think I'd be retiring before 55 or possibly even 60. I didn't envisage working into my 60s, certainly not full time anyway. It didn't quite work out that way. Okay, so let's get into the topic. It's a topic that's close to my heart, because as I say, I did retire early at 44, and it turned out to be the best thing that I did. I've no real complaints about it, ultimately. It's, a, it, it's been a great 19, 20 years since retirement. I've enjoyed most of it, but the early years were tough. Here are the things they don't tell you about retirement that I think you need to think about before you do it. Number one, none of your friends will be retired. If, like me, you're retiring in your 40s, or possibly your early 50s, then there's a good chance that most of your friends will still be working. They'll probably be working well into their 60s. So the question you have to ask yourself is, who are you going to spend your time with in retirement? It's great if you're retiring at the same time as your spouse or your partner, then you can both do things together. But if one of you still continues working, or if you've got children still at school, then that might not be possible. And that was my situation. Although my wife didn't retire, we did have a seven-year-old son at school. He needed taking to school every morning and he needed picking up every evening. Now I was happy to do that. It was something that I hadn't been able to do. I was an absent father until I retired. I was working long hours in my business, spending quite a few days away from home each week. So I was glad of the opportunity to spend some time with him. So I volunteered myself for the school run and I loved every minute of it. But in terms of time commitment, I would drop him off at 8am and then I had to set off back to pick him up at 3pm. So there wasn't really the opportunity other than school holidays to do travelling. Don't get me wrong, when school holidays came along, we made the most of them and we travelled all over the world. One of the things that I found was that a lot of the clubs and societies and pastimes that are tailored towards retirees are tailored towards older people and by older I mean people of state pension age 65 and above. Now there's nothing wrong with spending time with those people they can be great fun but it's important to spend time with people of your own age too and that can be a bit of a problem if like me you've retired at 44. So before you make the leap into early retirement think long and hard about who are you going to spend time with? The second thing I found was that suddenly stopping working came as a great shock to me. I went from all in on my business, working long hours, to no work at all. I won't lie, that had a significant impact on my mental health. Work provided me with a purpose. When that purpose was gone, I have to admit to being a bit lost. At the time, I didn't place a great deal of value on the things that were beneficial for working, but after I stopped working, I missed them a lot. Long Friday lunches with colleagues being one, chat over a cup of coffee, even the various meetings that I used to think were a bit of a pain when I was actually doing them at work, I started to miss them. The one thing taken away from me by my own design was human interaction. With reference back to my first point, if you do retire early, you need human company. You need to hang out with people. How are you going to do that? Eventually, I did find a group of men who were similar to me, all of whom had sold their businesses. And we got together and we formed a luncheon club of sorts. I met up every month for a chat and an afternoon of fun, including things like clay pigeon shooting, golf, talks from experts. The other thing I did was I indulged in my sporting passions. I enjoyed going to the gym, I enjoyed playing golf and I got to meet people whilst I was there. 
and that again solved the problem. The third thing I found was a lack of purpose. Work definitely gave me a purpose. And once I was no longer running my business, I lost my way a little bit. I didn't tackle points number one or two particularly well either. So my days started to become a bit disjointed. No structure, no real schedule. I used to hang around the house in my dressing gown until the late morning when it wasn't my turn to do the school run. So before you retire, I think it's a good idea to have a think about what you can do that will give you new purpose in life. If work is no longer the purpose and what you've done for 20 years is no longer the thing you are doing, then how will you find purpose? I managed to resolve that problem fairly easily in the end because I made it my purpose to be a good father and to spend time with my son and to help him develop into a fine young man and that did the trick certainly until he left to go to university 10 years later and that triggered a whole new set of challenges which I'll come on to in future videos so off the top of my head I think those are the things that I would urge you to consider if you're thinking about early retirement they're not the sort of things that people tell you about when you think of retirement you think about days of leisure lots of travel no commitments and that's highly unlikely if you retire early it might be okay for those that retire at more pensionable age because their kids have flown the nest they're probably fed up with work and ready to spend their days playing golf or mowing the lawn but if you're retiring in your 40s or your 50s it's a slightly different scenario anyway i hope that's helped if it has please comment below feel free to ask me any questions don't forget to make every second count i'll see you again in my next video Thank you.